Welcome guys back to my channel. This is Restore Refurb Works. Today we're gonna do a teardown and clean of the Logitech wireless Bluetooth mouse model M555B. So on my previous uh, video, right, you have seen uh, the external uh, comparison of uh, what's uh, different outside. For example, the top shell and also the cutout of the laser. So today what we are gonna do is dive in and uh, see what's inside. After removing the battery cover, let's see where's our point of entry. So for this, it's quite obvious. There's uh, two screws, just where the two batteries sit. So we're using a Phillips screwdriver to uh, remove those two. And uh, usually a telltale sign you can see underneath the uh, uh, mouse feet. Uh, it, sh it should be hiding some uh, screws usually. So uh, lifting it up, be careful. Because uh, if you observe, if there's some buttons on the top shelf, usually there will be uh, wires leading it to the motherboard. So now we're just uh, removing the cables before ripping it out. So this cable over here, in fact, is linked to the uh, Windows button on top. So that is still uh, okay and it's the, some of the plastics are molded into the shell so uh, we're not going to touch it. From here I see there's already uh, two screws that are holding the wheel assembly uh, fixed onto the base and there's another one right in front. Two more uh, that is a uh, structural uh, on the plastic that is uh, consists of the battery compartment let's remove this first then we'll see how it goes comes off easily then uh, it reveals the uh, laser for the mouse so ribbon cable as usual try to flip it open or uh, it, it might be a U clip you just need to release it so this is it and also for this laser is uh, molded into the case so no point of removing it it causes more trouble in the end if uh, remove it so some more screws uh, securing the board to the base you just need to remove them uh, not a big deal if you mix up the screws because uh, Logitech always been kind they're providing the same uh, screws sometimes the head might be wider or uh, it might be a standard size depending sometimes you need uh, the screw need to hold the plastic uh, parts down or it's a uh, structural for the uh, PCB board The plastic piece securing the mouse assembly comes off first. You can see here, I'm trying to put it back to show how it came off. And then the tricky part uh, is this uh, wheel assembly is uh, quite complex. So if there's a need, uh, uh, there's a faulty wheel, right? Uh, usually uh, it's removing and or replacing the whole assembly. Okay? As, usual what makes the wheel pop up will be this big spring over here on the other side there's another small spring for your actuator which is not seen in this screen that one you need to be very careful because it's very very small and once it flies off you have a very fun time looking for it so the board lifts off uh, quite easily but uh, we have noticed that there's these two uh, catches on the left of the picture right now later on you see how uh, it secures back so we leave this laser alone then we can go ahead with our uh, cleaning so there's this uh, sticker over here that is out of the way later we'll rip it off okay then there's this plastic part uh, that holds on to the uh, mouse okay the switches this is for your reference any chances you need to change is on so most of them are interchangeable make sure that it's a two feet or a three feet to solder on 
little closer look this slides on and inside the, the, the black part right there's also a very, very tiny screw unlikely it will drop out because it's filled with some uh, grease Having a look around the board, let's see what's going on. So there's some uh, flux uh, residue, some corrosion residue. Later we'll use our contact cleaner to clean it. Very densely populated um, PCB board over here. As usual, uh, I'll we'll, uh, spray the contact cleaner on the brush, then I'll go through every part of it. I've removed the big out of the way sticker and you notice that it's a Broadcom chip over here and some final cleaning. Again, for the external parts of the mouse and on the edges, I'll use um, IPA to uh, clean it, make sure to uh, remove all the grime from and sweat from our uh, palms. So reassembly is quite straightforward. Make sure the buttons are at the right position, otherwise you break the plastic. So here I will show you where the clips are located. Installing the mouse assembly, make sure the springs are all in place and it's sitting on its uh, position so that you get a nice fit there. A good practice is along the way, after installing everything, you do a, a, a test to see if the movement is okay or not. Another tricky part here is to reinstall the ribbon cable because it's uh, twisted in this angle, right? You need to use the tweezer to, to uh, put it in, but uh, be very, very careful not to pinch it, otherwise, yeah, it's a uh, corner. Closing to our completion of assembly make sure that all of the screws are accounted for and no additional or missing screws are there uh, just close it up temporarily maybe uh, uh, screwing one or two of the screws to uh, temporarily secure it so we can uh, proceed with our testing I 
I find joy uh, getting old, damaged, faulty stuff, trying to repair it and giving it a new set of life. So uh, in the future videos, I'm consider giving it away to our local subscribers. Do stay tuned. We are about to complete the assembly. Thank you guys for staying until the end. If you have liked the video, do click on the like button. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Signing off, this is Restore Refurb Works. See you in the next one.